with listing the quite a number of benefits that you can derive from the market. For you, what are some of those things that you actually see benefiting, you know, with the listing, and what is a you know competitive landscape that you're dealing with? I think the one of the um, advantages of a listing also is not just raising capital, but also the better visibility that, that you get. Uh, you know, your your rate is quoted every day in the newspapers, and uh, it's what you call free publicity. Definitely that raises your profile, not just in Kenya, but in the region. So that's number one. And I think that's very important for the bank of, if you want to be a bank of choice, we have to have the visibility. And if outsiders especially are seeing that we are quoted at the stock exchange, definitely we become the bank of first choice as well. Are there plans to raise capital through the Nairobi Securities Exchange? We see, uh, when we go to raise capital, it could mean two ways. It could be debt, it could be equity through the holding company. So it will depend on how much you want to raise because what are the purpose that we're raising it for. And second thing, of course, is in what form we'll raise it and who will be the target market. Will it be the institutional investor? Will it be the individual investor? Will it be a bit of our shareholder? So there are a lot of permutations and combination that we'll have to look at in more detail before we can have a strategy. You have presence in Kenya, Mauritius, and Rwanda, as well as Tanzania. Are there plans to expand to other countries within the region? You see, we are not um, completed East Africa as yet. Uh, Uganda definitely, as they say, is the pearl. Uh, we would definitely be more interested in uh, Uganda. And definitely our customers wanted us to go to Tanzania. They want us to go to Uganda. They want us to go to the East Africa region completely. So definitely um, we will have no choice but to go to Uganda. And uh, let's hope we can find a suitable way of going to Uganda during the course of this year. We, are, we, are, we have to go there to help our customers. We are very customer focused on that. So we have to do what our customers want us to do. Any mergers and acquisitions that are in the pipeline? Not immediately. Oh, mergers and acquisitions, of course, I wish we could think about it uh, immediately. But yes, yeah, these things take, take time to build up. Uh, it'll take time. I'm sure we'll find something sooner than later. And um, that's what keeps our uh, adrenal flowing. With the 55% uh, stakeholdership in uh, BCR, what are the other plans that you have for Rwanda, especially for this bank? Definitely we'd like to look at a balanced growth in Rwanda, but SME remains our uh, key plank. We're also looking at uh, how we can grow the home loan segment and uh, get more into the, into the middle class and the upper middle class segment in uh, Rwanda. And you have the same focus for, for Kenya. You talked about the SME in Rwanda. Is that also a focus that you have in Kenya? Of course, we have the same focus on Kenya and SME, but we do have a very good base in uh, corporate and commercial customers. We are very strong in trade finance. Here, we are very customer focused. Our quality service is very good. So we do, we do want customers to experience our quality of service. But at the same time, we're also looking at alternate banking channels here, internet banking, mobile banking. Perhaps you can tell us about your performance and how you see it also performing in the second half. Let's see how the economy it turns up. We are just waiting for that things to happen. Uh, you know, we have just got the, uh, the full-fledged government in place. We do face a bit of uh, strife at the moment, you know, people clamoring for more salaries. So we'll have to see how the um, uh, government can go through this uh, bit of tightrope walking. Uh, but I feel that people are so interested in this part of the world now, East Africa that Kenya will be the center of attraction, definitely. Going forward, maybe you can intimate to us what you expect on the second half of this year? Second half should be quite encouraging. We are um, seeing good uh, pipeline business. Uh, there's good liquidity in the market. There's a bit of exchange rate stability. Interest rate stability is there. We do want to have stability to, to be able to see how we can gr grow and advise our customers because our customers also feel a bit nervous when there's a bit of too much of volatility in the markets here.